quick update on my Starlink install uh, from a previous video that I did. I've been having some issues with my service and I have some kind of unique parameters here and I thought I might share with everyone to see if we could learn anything together as I troubleshoot it. So for anyone that did not see the previous video, um, it was about the install of this setup here, which is in the city, how I ran conduit and everything. Um, the reason I want to bring that up here is because it's a little bit unique in the sense that this is set up really just for hurricane season as a backup. And then we use the satellite um, on another property about an hour away from here. Um, so what's unique about that is this sits like this most of the time. Uh, so, you know, it's typically not in service. So whenever we first installed, I did use this as my primary connection in the city for a while. It worked great. The only reason I uh, didn't use it anymore as the primary service is because uh, fiber was put back here and it's about half the cost. Whenever we were using this as the primary connection, everything worked flawlessly. It worked great. And it wasn't until I um, disconnected it all while we were waiting to finish some uh, some work at our other property that this was all kind of disconnected when I went to put it back that I started having issues. So what I'd like to do next is kind of step you guys through the issue that I'm having. Um, so this is plugged in right now and this is you know where it terminates from the connections outside. Currently right now I'm not using any ethernet adapter in between or anything like that. And uh, I've gone through some troubleshooting already but, but let me show you what it's doing. This is the cable coming out here and it's going through the wall here. So let's go through the attic and look at the other side and see if we see any issues. Okay, so that's where it's coming out the wall. Can't really walk back there because of the insulation, but you can see where it's coming out and going up into the second attic over here. So far, cable looks good. Really nothing has changed here other than we had some work done with the insulation, but you can see how this is up and out the way. So I don't think this was touched at all. So this is the cable here and um, nothing obvious. Um, it's kind of dark in there. I can't see much, but you know, I really won't be able to get in here after this insulation has been blown. So I won't be able to see all the way along the path. All right, so after reaching out to uh, Starlink support, and telling them I was trying to move over to the Rome service and not having success, they basically thought the reason was um, because it had sat so long disconnected and it was just having uh, trouble. It was taking a lot of time to download the updates. So, um, you know, they were pretty sure that's what the problem was. Um, I tried that for a couple days and it didn't seem to work. And then I remembered, hey, I have the original cable that shipped with the kit. So, what I'm doing here is I'm taking uh, the cable and I unplug the one from the conduit and I just bypassed it. So I have the cable going straight to this here and I uh, have it plugged into an extension cord. And what I'm trying to do is just see if this is going to actually cause it to start working or not. All right, Maggie, what do you think? Okay, so that was a good test. Obviously, um, we have an issue with the cable here, and really the question now is to figure out what's wrong with the cable. What I'm starting to think here is maybe this is dirty, and uh, we need to take a closer look at that and see if that's really what's going on, or if we have a cable that got broken while insulation was getting put in the attic. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do next. Uh, I got my tool bag out and um, air compressor, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to set this up so I can video it. I'm gonna to try to clean out the tip of that uh, cable to see if that helps. All right, so I got this clamped in place and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best to film this. Uh, I'm gonna spray some uh, isopropyl alcohol in there and I'm gonna use a ordinary toothbrush with long bristles to try to get in there and scrub it out and see if that makes a difference. Looks pretty clean now, but is that what the issue was? By the way, I just uh, recently bought this tool bag and uh, built it out. I'd love to do a video on this if anyone's interested.
it's been a life changer. Okay, after we've cleaned uh, the cable on the outside, um, it's plugged back in on the inside. Uh, we have power. Let's give it a minute and see if it made a difference. All right, so that's not what I was hoping for. Um, after we cleaned the plug on the outside, it did not work. This is the plug from the inside, which should be clean. It's in the house, but uh, just taking a quick look here, looks great. And uh, obviously if the other cable worked, I don't need to check the inside of this. So obviously that's good. Okay, I've been troubleshooting a bit more and had to get a magnifying glass to uh, see these pins here but I think this could be the problem. If you see some of these pins here, they, they look like they're a little bit deformed. I know this is hard to see on the camera, um, but I think what I need to do here is try, might be an impossible task, but I need to try to bend some of these pins straight and see if that helps. All right, so I probably should just be changing this cable out at this point but it's difficult to do in my attic. So I'm trying to figure out if this is actually damaged and this is just a little wireless microscope. So I'm gonna switch over to recording my phone screen so you can see what I'm seeing. All right, as you can see, that was uh, not good. So we got a broken pin in there. These are quite delicate, it's unfortunate. So I think my only option besides replacing the whole cable, which is difficult for me to do, is to probably try to splice in a section of uh, you know this proprietary end on this existing cable. So if I loosen this up, I'm gonna see, I don't remember how much slack I have in here, but I could, potentially make the splice and uh, store the splice in here to keep it out of the weather. So uh, yeah, looks like I have some slag. So uh, that's a bummer, but I think that's what I'm gonna have to do if I don't change the whole cable. All right, so now I'm in the attic. Um, yes, yeah, so let me show you what I was trying to avoid here. So this is where the cable comes in and I have it routed along here which is fine. I have really good catwalks everywhere up here and I could access all of this pretty easily. It comes over here behind the air handler. But when I get here, I have one section of attic that leads to another over there. This is pretty difficult to uh, get the cable through. I think I could actually do it, but I'll have to uh, use a stick or a pole or something to get it through there. It's less than ideal, but my options are to do that or to try to splice the end and ruin a brand new cable by cutting it and splicing. Okay, everything in my soul tells me not to do this, but I have a perfectly fine 75 foot cable that I'm gonna cut now and try to fix the broken end if I could do it with one hand. All right, I'm just gonna strip the end back now. Hopefully without cutting the cables on the inside, the wires on the inside. Got a foil paper on the outside. Plastic protection around the four pairs, just regular Ethernet cable. All right, so I got this all opened up now. My plan is to cut the end off and strip here, give myself as much slack as possible and try to splice in the other end. See if that fixes the problem. Those wires, but I have these punch down connectors here. So I am gonna take the new cable which I've routed through here. Put the punch down connectors on both sides and then just connect them with this small uh, one foot patch cable. 
just to see if uh, the new connector works. Okay, by no means do I think this is a good long-term solution, but I do think it is a good quick way to test. So I have the new cable and the old cable each connected into push-down connectors with a small patch cable connecting them up. And uh, my goal here is to test if replacing this to a new end connector solves the problem or not. I'm trying to determine if I have a break somewhere else in the wire before I change it out. I already had this one, so it's kind of painful to cut a good wire, but it was more painful to change out the 150 foot cable in the attic. So I'm gonna connect this back up now, hook everything back up and see if I get service again. Okay, I'm hooked back up. Let's run a test. So I just hooked everything up like I was shown before and it's not working. Um, one thing I'm noticing though is I've seen this online with other people saying how loose these connections are. And I'm starting to wonder if that's really the issue. So I'm gonna mess with this a little bit and see if I can learn anything. Alrighty, so my first experiment is to disconnect it uh, from the mast and then I'm gonna jam something under here to prevent all the slop. We'll see if that makes a difference. All right, here's my super high tech test. Just jam something in there and uh, not loose anymore. Let's see what that does. I'll let you know in a few minutes. Yeah, I'm super surprised. So that actually fixed it. And I'm sure it wasn't just that. Um, it's clearly a broken pin on the connector uh, that I could see with the microscope. But you can see how loose this connector was. And um, when I jammed this in there, it's not loose at all. And it immediately started working. So it's a bit frustrating. I think that's not a great design. I didn't have that issue at first. Um, I have seen others say that that was an issue. Apparently that's a real thing. And uh, it's an easy fix, but it's probably just a, <laughs> a bad design. It's not, not great that you have to do that. I'm not a big fan of these connectors. Um, they seem pretty delicate and they're proprietary. I understand why they did it. It integrates better you know, with the product, but um, this is weird. I mean, you shouldn't have to troubleshoot something like this um, in this way. But anyway, uh, let me put this all back together and uh, we'll make sure that we have good speeds and everything. The other thing I was thinking about is since this was just sitting out in the weather, I'm wondering if this uh, elastomer or rubber, whatever this is, actually got weathered and maybe shrunk and that's what's causing this to not stay seated. Um, really, there's nothing else holding this in other than this friction between this material and the inside on the mast. So um, this is faded, you know, this is two years old and uh, you can see how the weather has taken its toll on it, but um, it's really still pretty flexible. So if you're wondering about that, I, I don't think that's an issue. It just looks different. So as I'm out here and thinking about this connector, um, I don't want this to happen again. So I know they sell these protective covers on Amazon with mixed reviews. I'm gonna go look in the shop and see if I could come up with something real quick. Okay, so one thing that I've found that works pretty well is just a piece of garden hose. Um, it's not a super tight fit, but it's tight enough to um, protect it and not fall off. Okay, an alternative option if you're trying to make your own um, cable protector is a 14 millimeter screw, something like that. Um, some half inch inside diameter vinyl hose, some scrap ahead. Um, you could use a hose clamp, or this is a uh, fuel line hose clamp. Okay, so I just cut that down a little bit to length, and there we go. This is really a lot more tight. And... All right, everyone, so we're back up and running. That was a weird set of problems, but kind of a fun troubleshooting experience. I hope that helps anyone that's having trouble with their cables. Um, the goal here was to make sure this was working for hurricane season and it wasn't. So I'm glad I figured out all of this stuff. Next things up for me, um, probably going to test out a, uh, Starlink pole mount for our other property. And, um, 
you know, I'll, I'll walk you guys through all of that and what I learned. Maybe get one of the backpacks to see how that works for transporting this from site to site. But for now, um, I hope that helps and um, thanks for watching.